What's up? Thank you for tuning into this channel. My name is Simon Hill. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. This is a Marmaris meditation video. As you can see, I'm in my wife's hometown of beautiful Marmaris. We're going to be traveling to Mauritius in about a week. My first time traveling to Sub-Saharan Africa or at least the Indian Ocean. That's going to be a fun trip. But I'm making this video about SYBSM or, you know, Save Yourself Black Man and all the other manosphere movements, Negro manosphere movements, all this stuff. In my channel, I don't talk about that. My battle will always be against white supremacy. But unfortunately, I'm making this video because one of my frequent commenters on his channel is promoting this sort of content. And I just want to make it absolutely clear that my content in my channel will never, ever, ever, ever be about uh, SYBSM or whatever the fuck that stupid acronym is. Save yourself, black man, and all these other things. Because let me talk about it. Very briefly, very briefly, you know, my goal is always to bang on the systems and ideologies that oppress us and hurt people around the world, period. My my goal is never to partake in the gender wars or the intergender wars that happen between men and men and women and women or anything like that, or between black men and black women. That's none of my concern, right? Uh, because our enemy is literally killing us, literally killing us. The guy who shot up the Buffalo supermarket did not give a fuck about Kevin Samuels and the Negro Manosphere and all those other talking points that black men seem to have for hating on black women. Because first and foremost, I love black women. I will not ever, I will never, ever, ever disrespect black women on my channel, period. I love black women. When I see every black woman, I see my sister, my cousin, my aunts, my granny, you know, my future daughters, everything like that. I love black women, so I will never disrespect black women. And any any black man who's on YouTube making a career out of shitting on black women and calling them all sorts of names and disrespecting them, fuck you, suck my dick. You're just as bad as them, as I hate to say this, them crackers, bro. You are just as bad as them crackers because who was the first person to call a black woman a bitch? The white man. Who was the first one to rape our grandmothers? The white man. So I'm not concerned with any of this bullshit that black men are talking about on the internet saying black women are, you know, straggle daggles and sharkisha and all this other shit. And, you know, laughing every time some, a black woman is killed because she was dating a white man or stuff like that. You people are sick. You people are really disgusting. Uh, the black woman is the most disrespected woman on the planet, period. There's nobody who has to go through more shit than black women. And as a black man who's abroad, traveling abroad, I've seen it with my own eyes. I was walking in Tunisia when I saw a black woman who was minding her own business, going about her day. And a bunch of Tunisian guys yelled out of their car at her. And you hear stories about black women abroad in different places and people assume that they're prostitutes or, you know, say horrible things to them and things like that. So I'll always speak up for black women, um, you know. I, I respect and love black women. Some people will comment and judge me because my first two wives have been non-black women, right? So they'll say, well, you're living, save yourself, black man. No, 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 no. If you've known my content or if you don't know my story, um, you know, I was really in love with this black Palestinian girl and uh, she actually was about to have my child, but we, she aborted it and we fell apart and, you know, I've dated so many black women in my life, um, tried to be with a lot of black women, but, you know, I'm abroad. I'm going abroad and I like who I like and I fell in love with who I like. I didn't purposely choose to only be with white women. A lot of you save yourself black men niggas are just too scared to be comfortable with yourself to say, hey, I like white women, but I'm... I, but I don't disrespect black women. A lot of you have to justify your love for white women by shitting on black women. When just be a fucking man and say, hey, I like white pussy. Just be a man and say that. You don't have to disrespect black women to do that. So stop being pussy. And, um, you know, what else do I have to say? Uh, shit. You know, somebody's going to comment and say, oh, Simon, you, uh, you're, you got married twice to non-black women. So you must hate black women. You know, I could have done this in America. I just will never live in America again because of the white supremacy and the level of violence that's unsustainable in the country. It has nothing to do with it. Trust me, I could easily go back to America, get a good, decent paying job, live the normal life of a nine to five, 40,000, 50,000, $60,000 a year American and live happily and comfortably. But because of so many things I disagree with the in the States, I will never live there again, period. 
So um, for the whole manosphere in general, I don't understand why so many men are attracted to these idiots like Fresh and Fit. And, you know, I did a video about Kevin Samuels. Go check that out. But I don't know why so many men are so fucked up and lonely outside, man, because growing up, I never had a problem with girls like that, man. Like, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't understand why you niggas can't get your dick sucked or why you can't get pussy or why you can't get girlfriends or why you can't get married. Because I'm on my second one. I'm on my second one, bro. And hope, and this will be the last one, period, because I love my wife to death and we have a great relationship. But um, my advice to any man who's stuck in the manosphere or who's red-pilled and black-pilled and all these other stupid pills, you know, uh, dude, just talk to girls. Just talk to women. Treat them like people. Treat them with respect. And if one doesn't like you, move on. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. And um, to all the black men who are on this save yourself black man shit and you guys are going out of the country to get girls from colombia brazil all these other places europe whatever you guys are literally hypocrites because you can't say it's not about race that you hate black women because why aren't you guys going to cameroon why aren't you guys going to south africa why aren't you guys going to senegal there are beautiful women all over the world there are beautiful black women all over the world even in those countries that you guys are going to like colombia and uh, peru and mexico and all this other stuff why aren't you guys picking up afro mexicans why aren't you guys talking to afro colombians afro brazilians no you guys have a fetish for white women and that's okay it's okay to like white women. It's okay to like whatever you like. Just express it. Just say it. I don't have a preference for white women. I just like the women I like. If you saw the women women I've dated, you'd be surprised. You would be surprised. It, it's, it's amazing. And I've lived a great life. My dick has had a story. But I'm not here to brag about my dick. I'm here to talk about you niggas who always shit on black women, who travel outside the country to just go and fuck on white women and do all that other weird, nasty shit. Fuck you niggas. You niggas are crackers. You niggas are crackers, bro. Y'all are straight up crackers. Y'all are the white man. Y'all are the white man in the black man's body. I hate you niggas so much. Get the fuck off my channel, because this is not my channel. Here, we bang on white supremacy. Here, we bang against American imperialism. Here, we bang against American cultural hegemony. Here, we talk about all that shit. Here, we give inspiration to black men who want to travel. We don't come over here and shit on black women. Not at all. Not at all. Period. Period. I love my sisters. And we'll always be together in this fight for struggle, uh, justice, and equality. So, shit, I, wanna, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anything, but shit, that's about it. That's about it. That's all I'll say. So this has been my marmorous meditation on the manosphere. Uh, just talk to girls. Don't listen to these idiots saying, you know, women are all hypergamous and all this other bullshit. To the Negro manosphere, stop shitting on black women. To save yourself, black men, if you really don't want to date American women, hey, black man, there's South Africa, there's Nigeria, there's Ghana, there's Sierra Leone, there are beautiful black women who are feminine and submissive and all this other bullshit that you say white women have but black women don't have, you can find that somewhere else outside of America, even though there are black women in America who you will like, but you're too pussy to actually go talk to them and deal with them. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the type of women I like, the most beautiful women in the world, East Africans, Indians, black women, Arabs, in my opinion. But my wife, who's Turkish, is number one most beautiful woman in the world to me. So this has been my Marmaris Meditation. Thank you for watching. Peace.